Liar Zebra Part 2. Of theirs, and I'm using the term coworker very loosely. Hey, why don't you people quit stacking up and get a job? I drive with you, got a cottage. Because that doesn't mean they work at the same place. They probably never met. They might never meet again. And the criminal might not even thank the judge for stroking them off just right. But I think the thanks that they get comes in the form of six-figure salaries and pensions that last a lifetime even after they're dead. I think that's all the things they need. You know, the ruling class, they don't need to be thanked by each other. They're thanked by us in the form of money every day. Are you stupid or something? It was my pleasure bringing you this uh, live stream. I know there's a lot of crybabies who get upset because I tell the truth about the cops, but if you pay attention, you notice <laughs> I treat them much better than they deserve. So by threatening to line up 25, 30 cops, uh, you treat them well? Man, you, you lick boots and then you threaten to kill. I mean, you, you come up with your lies, your bullshit, you spew them to people who are idiots that follow you. Your followers are completely stupider than you are. Yeah. If I were to run into Ortiz right now, I would treat him like a friend. They will never forget the day that I break him back. And, and I'm not talking about no lawsuit. I'm talking about the day that your family goes to your fucking funeral. And everybody's like, oh my God, it couldn't have happened. He's so sweet. He's so good. He's, we love him so much. Yeah. That's the day that the guy gets what he deserves. Like I do pretty much everybody. He doesn't deserve to be treated to anything more than a beating and a, at least a night in jail, if not a lifetime. So, you see the school, is that, I want to say the school child walking in the street, but it looks like an elderly guy that's just got a backpack on. But at this beginning of the stream, I know I've already told you twice now, but this is time number three. And, and after, you know, the whole warning about the police tape and the kids that are gonna have to walk in the street, where do the police stand? They don't even stand inside their own, own perimeter, they stand on the outside of their tape in the street. But they do have a point. If that tape wasn't there, I'd be standing right. Even though, I mean, you know what I'm saying? I'd be right on the other side in their faces. So, so the tape is, it's not about their safety. It's about being uncomfortable with the truth. Oh, yes! Because if it was channel four or channel seven, they'd, let, they'd have to stand right there with them and smile and tell them lies. Oh, yes! But they don't like it if you're gonna tell the truth about them. But today, the truth is actually not so bad. They caught a bad guy. Of course, I tell a little bit more of the truth than that. Liar! But um, I think that's a wrap. I'm gonna try to go to the marijuana shop and speak to the owner and see if I, he can give me specific details to back up the information I already have. You are fake news. And you know, he might have some some of the truth that I'm completely unaware of. On the other hand, there's most likely things he won't want to talk to me, and that's fine too. I'm not a journalist. Just have a Gmail account. Tom, I'm standing outside of the Department of Motor Vehicles. So I would take you guys with me, but I think that's just too much trouble for you, the viewers, to have to go for a bike ride in traffic. I mean, it's not as troubling as it would be do a it person. anyways, because you love all the attention from your 70 uh, viewers. People dumber than you are that watch your dumbass shit. You're welcome, Morgan. Deuce is wild. Uh, Secret H, man. Thank you guys very much. I appreciate I appreciate you guys just joining me. Um, shocking to learn that some folks join me just because they want to find a way to try to uh, uh, do awful things to me. Tom, I'm here live in Las Vegas where tomorrow night... I don't know why... why so Watching me do nice things would make inspire some people to want to do awful things. Our judges in this country are fucking scumbags. I personally think he should be hung from a bridge, you know, in return. 
I mentioned earlier I was going to try to defend those exact people that I'm speaking of. I'm going to try to do that right now. I don't know that, that these ladies are malicious. I think they are. I think they're malicious. But it might be that they're just fucking stupid and they don't know they're fucking ashes from a hole in the ground. And so, they'll, you know, since I did go to jail for this thing and now I have all this evidence that's going to be coming to me on, you know, videos of interviews and whatnot. Liar! Um, 911 calls, like I said. I think the least I could do is show these ladies their ass from a hole in the ground. And that way in the future, maybe they could keep their fucking mouth shut or at least have a clue that maybe they're wrong about something. Just because you heard a rumor doesn't mean you spread it, insist that it's true. So what is this dumb fever about? And then stand by it after you've sent an innocent person to jail. That's my opinion. And I know it's a fucking fact. Who lies? Oh, lies! But unfortunately, the people that um, think they fucking know everything, just like the rest of us, they don't. Uh, I want to protect the criminals instead of the rest of the people that are victims of these criminals. I mean, you got to be a real dumb braining individual to brain on this low level. I might not know everything, but I do know some things. And for sure I know who oh, I'm shit. sleeping with. Okay, that's one of the things that I know for sure and there's nobody in the world that can tell me different. But even worse, I don't know if it's fair to call these women whores. That'd probably be disrespectful. Plus, I don't think anybody would be buying. Um, but instead, they've 